Hello, 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 how's it going everybody? Welcome back to the Golden Goblet series. It's day two of our NES Classics week. Uh, today we've got Ice Climber. This one, you know, I'm, I'm certainly more familiar with the NES catalog than I am with the Sega Genesis. But this does not fall into that category. I've never, ever, 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 ever played this uh, one as a kid. We might have had it. Like, we had a lot of NES games, but some were certainly more popular than others. And uh, I only had a, a tendency to play whatever I saw my brothers playing. And so I did a quick little test run of this. I can tell you, I would understand why my brothers wouldn't play this game. Even way back in the day. <laughs> um, uh, yeah, anyways, let's, uh, let's get it started up and get our timer ready. Once they drop us. We'll get going, and start. All right, we got 15 minutes, same as as uh as Mario. Stay away from these enemies. So basically, the premise is, you know, we're climbing. We're ice climbers, and you got a hammer, so we could bop these enemies. Tell them to frig off, and then we gotta climb up. The thing I realized is like the controls are kind of finicky. It's not as easy to jump up into the platforms. Like you think you're gonna land on something, and then the pixels just like you're like, what? It doesn't seem to connect. Also, a thing I learned from Sonic the Hedgehog when we played that, I apparently so I got I got one of the bonus levels in that right, and you're like, oh well, that's good, right? It's like maybe in terms of the score wise, but in in how we Oh, see. Um, in terms of how we score the Golden Goblet, it's just whoever goes the furthest. And the bonus level doesn't count. It actually slowed me down in terms of progress, right? So, um, that has been a lesson learned for me, for sure. So just don't do these bonus levels. So I'm gonna just jump down pretty much immediately. I, it might backfire. I don't know if there's a benefit to doing them. Like I got a, a quick carrot there. But um, you know, it's just whoever climbs the most mountains. So we just did mountain two. Let me up. Oh gosh. Okay, you gotta watch for the icicles too. No! Are you kidding me? Um, yeah, and like Mario and, and many of the other games, too, I feel like, okay, so they just go through everything, which is, what the fudge? All right, game over. That's fine. Get it out of the way. This game, like, honestly, I really, I don't know if there's a reason why Dan picked it or if he just randomized it. I, I kind of hope he randomized it because this game, I'm not trying to sound, oopsies. Yeah, you gotta start at Mountain 1. This game, to me, is really not fun. Mario? So I we played that, like, uh, we recorded that. I spent a ton of time uh, on the stream earlier today. Not a ton, but a good chunk. Playing more. I'm loving it, man. It's great. It's been so long since I played it, and I just, I love it. This? I'm like, please get me out of here. Please. So, <laughs> um, yeah, I don't know. But again, I think that's the power of nostalgia. Maybe Dan played this game a lot as a kid and he, he loved it. And he's super pogged about it and that's why he wanted it. And that's fine. I could respect that, I guess. But at the same time, I'm like, really? See that? Like, it feels like that should be... That should connect, but it doesn't. All right, maybe I should get one eggplant. I don't know, is that like an extra life or something? No, eggplant is a score, right? You call me when they're handing out extra lives because I'm gonna need them. No. Okay, we got it. Just get up, just get up. Try not to fall down. Feel down the ice. 
and ravioli on me. Dude, it's so, like, touchy. I guess that's probably part of the challenge, but it's not a fun challenge to me. Got a carrot. All right, let's go. We got 10 minutes and 45 seconds left. You know, if we could just keep climbing at this point without dying, that'd be great. But I can tell you it's not gonna happen. Wait, what? Dude, I mean, we're on... We're already taking massive damage on some pretty early levels. Oh, that's a conveyor? Okay, I see that. Ice cube. Foreman. Oh. Oh, I see where you got it. You want to get on, like, the middle one to position yourself well. Yeah, yeah, right here. Just go. Just go, you know? Ooh, cabbage. Don't collect it. It's just points. Maybe it's a lot of points. 600 points. Well, in the event of a tiebreaker, right? If you if you get to the exact same mountain and die in the same area, you gotta then maybe look at the points and be like, all right, who had who had more? So I don't want to say it's like not important, but I mean, come on. Oh, that was close. Oh, he fell, but he didn't hurt me, so that's good. I would have been real mad if he hurt me. Oh, fudge off. That's a death? Dude, these conveyor belts are killing me. Stop repairing it. This is not fun. This I I'm going to I'm going to be honest with you. I'm straight up salted. Is that game over in Mountain 4? We got 9 minutes left of this. Are you kidding me? All right, go. I don't like how they they auto have the mountain where you died. If you die there, you got to go all the way back. It's a roguelike. All right, I'm a big old eggplant. You know what? I'm not even going to talk about the competition. I don't care how I, if I get bronze, that's fine. I'm going to use this next eight and a half minutes to talk about my freaking garden plants i hope that's okay so i've been uh kind of getting ready for this this year you know you're saying a mouth it's just the start of march oh baby you're right it's the start of march i got a a bunch of seeds i ordered i have seeds you know that i i i keep from prior years and well uh, as well but some of them are you know they only have a certain shelf life if you will um, and I also go through them and use them up through the year, so you gotta order more. But also, I like to try and grow different stuff each season as well. Um, experiment a little here and there. And, uh, you know. You know, some stuff in some seasons I, I grow and I'm like, yeah, that wasn't worth it. Uh, and then other seasons like, yo. That was very worth it. I'm going to grow more of that. Um, so I am blessed in that I have a very large balcony uh, for like a, a, a an apartment. So I can do a, a pretty hefty balcony garden. Uh, it is, it's a 30 foot long. That's not an embellishment. It's a 30 foot long balcony. So that's a lot of space for, um, you know, containers. And, you know, some people maybe not as familiar, but container gardening, like some plants, it's preferable to have them in containers. Um, and, and, and some do just, you know, really well, just as well. Sometimes they do better um, in a lot of ways. So, so yeah, a 30 foot balcony full of containers. And when I say full, last year I, I, I hit capacity. I had extra, I bought a lot of pots, a lot of containers, and I couldn't use them all because I ran out of space, but there's certain things it's like, they're kind of cool to grow, but I'm like, eh, they're not quite as useful if space is limited. Uh, I grew many zucchinis, 
uh, even the container variety are still massive. Like once they're they're fully fully grown, the leaf or the the, the leaf span, kind of like the wingspan, is still like three feet, <laughs> four feet. Um, which is fine. They're very pretty, and then they get the the zucchini. They get the nice like orange flowers on them, and then the fruits. But I think I'm gonna stick to like one zucchini plant. I had four last year, so that's that's a lot of real estate that could be used for other stuff, like um, other things too, like you know, I could grow lettuce or onions or something. But some of the stuff, it's like I'm gonna, I'm not gonna spend a whole season or well, not a whole season, but like a a large portion of a growing season and one container growing a head of lettuce, you know. <laughs> You know, it's, it's nice to do, it's fun and all that, but like, once you've done it, you're like, okay. Now, tomatoes and peppers, that's where it's at. That's where I'm going all, not all in, but big time. I've probably got, I'd have to count, but we're probably pushing, oh, bonus level, we don't want this. Uh, there's easily 20 different kinds of peppers. Uh, maybe a bit more. There could be a lot more, to be honest. But I I've tried not to have too many, like, overlapping. Just trying to jump over here. Uh, yeah, too many, like, overlapping types of peppers. I kind of, you know, mostly want ones that have different flavor profiles or different spice levels, different uses, right? So I've got everything from Jimmy Nardello's sweets, which are not spicy, but delicious. Um, all the way up to Carolina Reapers being the, the hottest. I've grown those in the past. Like a lot of the peppers I've grown. Uh, I've got a few that I haven't that I'm trying out. Uh, I'm trying to think of some names of a few. Um, another, like, pretty hot one I'm gonna be growing, Brain Strain, you know, you've got the Trinidad Scorpions, the Ghost Chilies, the Habanero, Chocolate Habanero, you got your Jalapenos, you got your Scotch Pine, like, all that kind of stuff, and then there's a few other, you know, like, the Pepperoncinis, you know, those will be pickled once they're grown. We can't get past level four. What's my timer at? Oh, jeez, I got three minutes and 16 seconds, all right. Um, so yeah, anyways, I got, I've got, like, all my indoor stuff, so you start peppers in, indoors, you know, around March, beginning mid, uh, to mid, mid-March, usually, uh, tomatoes as well, uh, and there's some other stuff you'll want to start indoors if you're growing from seed, which I like to do, you know, you could go to nurseries, greenhouses, and I hit them. And, and buy stuff a, a bit later, you know, if, if you're maybe a little late getting to the party and... That's what happens to me many years, or most years, is I just, like, time slips away and I'm like, Oh my god, it's April. I didn't start growing these seeds or those ones, blah blah blah. But not this year. All the seeds are ready. I've got the, the containers with the little plastic domes. I've even got, like, uh... Uh, this one, it's like a cool little thermometer uh, what's it called a uh, slash hydro hydrometer hygrometer it, it basically it does measures the temperature the thermometer part and then the hydrometer hydro hydro hy measures the humidity so it's got these cool little two little tiny vents on the back side you drill a couple small holes into the the plastic dome then you slip those vents through and then it's got this little you know, bolt and nut kind of set up. So you put them on, so it kind of secures it to the plastic. And then you've got the the display will be sitting on the outside of the dome, telling you what the temperature and the and the humidity is. And you don't have to open it. And then the domes, uh, they've got these cool little, just simple swivel vent thingies at the top, little disc you turn them, and then it opens up some holes. So if it's a little too humid or hot in there, you can always release it. It's neat. It's 
So now all I gotta do is, is, is plant them. Well, I do need to get, um... Come on, man. This is a bad spot. Oh, fudge. Okay, I got less than a minute. This this part right here... Dude, it's just so finicky. I know this is not a bad, uh, good spot to climb up, but I can't jump over that one block hole. Whatever. I'm gonna talk about plants for 40 more seconds. Um... Anyways, yeah, I gotta get the soil. I'm gonna get some special germination soil. It just kind of gets the roots developed um, faster and 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 larger, quicker. So it's good. You know, you want to get a good start, and then they'll get transplanted out and they'll grow. And I'm excited. I got some cool stuff. I got some cool tomatoes too. Some golden nugget tomatoes. They're like little yellow cherry tomatoes. Some indigo rose, which is like they get so purple they almost look black. Tomatoes. So those I've never grown before. I'm excited. And then you got the classics, the the Romas and the San Marzanos. Um, and then some other, you know, you, you got all the herbs and such too, right? Oh, there's the timer. There you go. Um, you know, your your basils and your rosemaries and your thyme and some lavender and dill. And it, it's just, it's great. I'm excited about it. Uh, and I'm glad uh, I had that to talk about for eight minutes because this gameplay <laughs> so i think mountain four was the highest we got i don't even remember you know which platform uh i get i yeah i think we're gonna get i think we're gonna take the bronze on this one because i was i was not dialed in. that's fine i'm not making excuses i didn't play well and i didn't i didn't have the desire the drive to play well but um that's okay that's it. We were the underdog for Super Mario Bros. Going into it, I knew based on my um, lack of enthusiasm for Mario Maker that Ryan and Dan were both going to think that I have never played a Mario game in my life or I was bad at them, which is not true. Uh, I just like, I like, I have a weird chip on my shoulder about Mario Maker. I think it's like a great game in a lot of ways, but at the same time, I'm like, I don't want to play levels made by a bunch of random internet trolls that are just like not actually fun and there was some other stuff going on that it's just like made me salty in general so you know i kind of used that that underdog to my advantage because i knew there was no expectations for me to perform in that you know i was expected to get the bronze and bam you catch him off guard you're like hey malfi malfi played some super mario bros when he was young you know, I just don't talk about it. I don't, I don't need to brag about it. It was my childhood. I enjoyed it. I wasn't, I wasn't playing it to be like the best or have the fastest times. I just enjoyed it for the love of the game. It's good times. Anyway, so today we're allowed to take a break because we did better yesterday. But, uh, no, I'm going to try, you know, uh, I do like uh, the NES, classic, beautiful console, a lot of great games, and uh, I'm excited for some of the ones coming up, so, yeah. Hopefully we'll, hopefully we'll perform better. Anyways, I hope, I hope it doesn't seem like I was too salty uh, here, you know, I actually had a fun time, sort of, talking about plants. Not playing the game, but that's okay. It's all good. Anyways, I'm out of here. I'm rambling. Uh, thank you guys very much for hanging out. Uh, you know, best of luck to Ryan and Dan on uh, their their climb session today. And uh, who knows? You know, maybe... Maybe uh, if none of us have played this, I've got a chance. Maybe there's a silver medal in there somewhere. I don't know. But, uh, yeah, that's going to do it. I'll see you guys tomorrow for the next game. Until then, peace out.